In this three minute convert kit tip, you are going to learn the differences between rules and visual automations and why you would you want to use one over the other. I'm Jason Resnick of NurtureKit, NurtureKit.co. And for those that are just starting out with ConvertKit, this can be really confusing because ultimately on the surface, you have rules and visual automations that both have triggers and actions. Starting with rules though, this is what ConvertKit's foundation was built on and it is a very linear or very direct relationship between the trigger and the action. Basically think of it like this. If this happens, then do this. So in other words, if someone subscribes to this form, send them this sequence. And that's how it was for a very long time within ConvertKit. There are no conditions, there's no logic built in. It's really an all or nothing scenario. But as the platform matured, visual automations came forward. While this too can have a very linear type approach, it also allows you to inject logic and conditions into the visual automations. So it more or less becomes, if this happens and this subscriber is a part of this group, do this. For everyone else, do this. So whatever you decide on is really totally up to you to figure out how to move people along in your email marketing. However, as a ConvertKit certified expert and someone who has been in the app for the better part of every single day over the past several years, you want to make sure you're using each one in the proper way. Let's talk about why you would choose a rule over a visual automation. Rules you want to use to set up your trigger link. This is the link that sits in, in an email that then applies a tag. You also want to use rules to handle all your form submissions and then pass that subscriber into a sequence or any other logic that sits inside of a visual automation. I have a video that really deep dives into this, which I'll link up below. The primary reason behind using a rule over a visual automation in this case is because visual automations has a trigger limit of five. Rules are infinite, so you could create any number of forms and landing pages, apply a singular tag. So why would you want to use visual automations over rules? I use visual automations for everything else, right? So outside of the trigger links and passing people in from a form by using rules, everything else that I want to do, I go to a visual automation first. And yes, it does seem vague and ambiguous, but the way that that app is built and what is being built into the app by way of the roadmap and features Everything is going into the visual automations in the first place. But to give you some clarity and validity behind this, you want to use a visual automation to pass subscribers into sequences. And the simple reason for that is, is it's easy to pull them out with just a tag if you need to manually or if you need to because they bought something. Bottom line, unless it's a trigger link or managing new subscribers that come in by your forms, you want to use visual automations for everything else. If this was helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon so that you get notified the next time a three minute convert kit tip drops. And when you treat your email lists like humans, amazing transformations happen.